this area has become sort of overrun with cattails and while cattails are really productive and can offer some shelter for wildlife, a wetland completely overrun with them uh, offers very little, uh, little else. We've got a harvester, a cattail harvester, especially designed to cut cattails and collect them while keeping the wetland soil intact and not doing any damage to the wetland soil, so it's got very wide tracks. We're harvesting uh, some of these cattails to open up uh, the marsh to push back some of the cattails and hopefully this will allow uh, some of the native plants to uh, come back that's in the seed bank. There's some extra benefits. We're hoping to, with this biomass removal, we're hoping that we'll remove a lot of the nutrients with this biomass too. And then in addition to that, we're taking the biomass and bringing it over to the university's biodigester. It's a dry anaerobic digester. Um, we process drier materials, like what you can see behind me. Uh, we use that for the structure aspect of uh, filling our fermenters. We're producing primarily uh, methane. Uh, there's some CO2 as well, so it's roughly 99.9% .9 methane and CO2 with methane comprising about 60% of that. One of the benefits of dry anaerobic digester is that um, you can process things like the cattails. Having these uh, in a dry digester are actually beneficial because they add that structure that we actually need. We need to be around 30% solid to uh, be able to, to fill the fermenter to about 80 percent volume. It's a great project. We'll have, uh, we'll have students looking for the amount of energy being produced. If you've got an opportunity to get involved, I would recommend it. There's a lot of new programs starting. All of these are just going to help this, this university.